The purpose of this video is to defend the value of three unique characters in Metal Gear Online for the PS3. These characters being Johnny, Mingling, and Vera. Why do I need to defend them, you ask? Well, many MGL players feel that they are worthless compared to the other characters they were coupled with. That is far from the truth, my friends. I will investigate why people hate these characters so much, and explain their effectiveness in MGL as an attempt to restore the lost faith in these three solid characters that are voluntarily receiving the second banana treatment. Finally, we have Vamp. He's probably the least disliked of the three, but still gone us from ridiculous hate. Why do people hate Vamp outside of MGO? It's obvious, it's because he became more of Raiden's rival in Metal Gear Solid 4. Basically, they wanted Vamp there to make their fans so as he will Raiden look better. Unfortunately for them, Vamp was a badass in Metal Gear Solid 4. So I felt that his resurrection ability was dumb. People, he's called Vamp for a reason. They find a creative way to resurrect a unique character in the Metal Gear Solid universe, and people bash it. Others question Vamp's sexual orientation and deem that as a setback. People consider the way Naomi cured him as anti-dramatic and pathetic. A syringe that shuts down his nanomachines what a cop-out, huh? No, it was the end of suffering and being closer to a dynamic living character. They claim that he's an underpowered droid and less defense and weaker throwing knives. I've even seen Vop get bashed for having SRP. Ridiculous. Like the captain, he can't equip any other primary weapons even if he disarms them. Oh, they find him responding where he dies a bad thing too. Because people can vomp talk. An elder complaint was vomp being helpless underwater. But Konami has remedied that as of the 1.32 two parts. I'm about to grab a knife and shank some of these lies, so here we go. Why shouldn't you hate Vamp in MGO? Vamp is the man, damn it. He's slightly faster than Raiden in terms of movement speed and when he takes a long fall. His throwing knives are quicker and more headshot prone. His CQC2 is more than enough to rack up many stroke slips, with a sweet animation to boot. Unlike Raiden or any other unique character, he can't be bounced around by explosives like some plaything. Vamp is made to be a stealthy killer. His insane speed makes boring old PNCs with their runner 3 and cheesy berets absolutely helpless. It was what to be great with Vamp. You've got to understand how to dodge and dance. Once you get that down pat, your kill to death ratio will be a lot easier on the eyes and the ego. Yeah, this is the part where people groan. With Raiden, they have the luxury of holding the attack button so they can solve down pork rinds and other acne summoning junk food with their other hand. Well, fuck, it's a little more complicated but can still be learned quickly with patience and a solid effort. As for being unable to equip primary weapons, so what? He has fast lock on rise with extreme headshot potential and a one hit killer blade. Does he need anything else? As far as rob capping goes, if you keep moving the moment you get up, you'll still be invulnerable. If you try to be Rambo and take down all the campers, you lose that invulnerability quicker and die again and again. Vamp is a monster, and speed, offense, and defense make him a valuable asset in any mode. In any mode that has a base or a capture point, Vamp speed definitely makes him more valuable than the likes of Liquid Overrated and Vanilla Mabel. Otherwise, he excels immensely in any situation you put him in. Yeah, it's time to be a Vamp champ now. Well, that concludes my video. I hope I was able to change a few minds. I expect the people that truly hate Johnny, May, Ling, and Ramp to continue bashing them as an effort to justify their lack of skill and the patience to fully utilize the characters. That's okay. That's okay. They will draw account, battle statistics, constant warning on the mic, and in the chat all speak for themselves. For those of you that do play for fun, but don't like any of these three characters, just give them more time. Get more comfortable with them and sugar trade. 
then one day it'll finally hit you. These characters have hidden power waiting to be untapped. I've seen many Johnny's Lings and Vamps in the top three before the end of 16k games. You could be next. Thank you, and have a nice day.